show ya Wish you made a call you when you turn me on Cause when you tell me you wanna be down mm-hmm. Done it, I done this before you fall I won't catch you, don't know I'm stolen Cause you love to have them all crying Gonna be sweet day Tell me you need me Said I'm from a city that's high school I give them the cinema I go uh, Cause you a bad man if she don't love me She break her ass real fast like a man Wanna swim down to the deep end Wanna know all my secrets honestly Can you keep it real cause honestly I can tell that you real fond of me Baby don't be shy I can see it in your eyes I've been running around at home it's so easy and less clean up than using a juicer so make sure you go check that video out and then i made my smoothie you just saw i just put one frozen banana some frozen cherries protein powder two dates what else have I made? cacao powder and i used the rest of my hazelnut milk that i made i'm gonna make some more today um, and I'll show you how to make that and then I just added a little bit more almond milk just because it was a little too thick so Just made that I'm gonna drink these and then I'm about to run to the store because I want to run to Goodwill try to find some stuff um, To put in this kitchen area. I, got, I wrote down a list of stuff that I want to like just bring it all together All right update I am Heading into West Elm just to see because I was driving by and I was like oh, what are the odds that it's right here I mean there are no odds it's there every day <laughs> but um I literally was like well let me just go in here see if I can find anything this will be my last stop before I go back home for sure so I'll see if I can find anything for my bedroom and the kitchen and then um yeah then I go home and make something to eat because I'm hungry I initially went to Google because I wanted to find like some stuff for my end tables and um, like some stuff for the kitchen and I literally didn't get anything for home decor but I got some stuff for me so I got this little bag which I think is cute it's a Betsy Johnson bag I don't like this little I'm trying to figure out if I can take this bow off because I don't like that at all but the actual bag I like and it was eight dollars so got that also I found these cute white box little sweat shorts they were eight dollars as well and they are in like such good condition like I was literally in the in there searching like what's wrong with it like what am i gonna pull out and find like and it's just like everything is good it doesn't even seem like they've been washed that much so maybe somebody got them and couldn't fit them forgot to return them and then decided to donate them i have no idea they're a size medium which i feel like i would get a large in something like this and i got i'm obsessed with hoodies so i got this hoodie here it says reflected love which i really like with a smiley face and it's just like the quality of this hoodie is so nice because i feel like it's so hard to find like <clears throat> cheap hoodies now because i feel like it's just so i don't know the influencers and gen zers have taken sweat sets to a whole new level so i feel like a sweatshirt like this with this quality would easily be like 50 dollars nowadays um and then like if you do get a cheaper one it's like not as thick as, as this and like doesn't have the great quality so got this and this was ten dollars okay 
Yeah, $9.99. So, got that. And then I literally just got the same sweatshirt in black. Same size and everything. Um, just so my sister can have one too. I'm going to figure out what color I want. <laughs> then I'm going to give her the other one. But they're both really cute. When I was leaving Goodwill, I actually found another thrift store. And it's so funny because I never knew either one of those were right there. And they're pretty close to me. So, that's exciting because I'm trying to thrift more and just be better for the environment. So... At the other thrift store, I actually did get this little ceramic little bowl thing, like dish. It was $2, and I feel like this is what will look really nice with our keys in it in the kitchen on the island. And then I picked up this uh, little button down. It's Zara. It's a extra large, but I think it would be really cute with like black pants with like similar material and then a bralette and keep it open it's really cute. i don't know if it's picking up on there but it's just sheer and then it has like this solid little material right there but it's really cute so it was how much was this it was 15 dollars. so i thought that was pretty cool and it's really nice and then Oh, also from Goodwill, I got this. This was $3, and it's just like a little decor piece. I feel like I'm going to put it in my bathroom because um, we have like a little mirror and then a wall that's kind of empty, and I just was looking for something to put there just to bring a little something to the bathroom. So, And then I went to West Elm and got these like oil and vinegar little bottles because if you watch my latest video um yeah i think it's gonna be up before this but i like rearranged my kitchen and everything and there's a spot where my own vinegar is and i wanted to get um like bottles for them so it's just not in like the bottle that the olive oil comes in and then i'm making my own apple cider vinegar so i'm gonna put it in here and all that good stuff and these are really cute i really can't pass them up they were $30 and I was in the store like actually do you need these for $30 but like I don't know they like really called to me so I was like yes you need them but I think they'd be really cute sitting on my counter so when I put those things up in the kitchen I'll show you guys also I'm not gonna put this away I'm gonna wash it oh shoot I almost threw I don't know <laughs> he's came with this At first I was like, there's no tops to these, but then I didn't even question it. But yes, there are tops. Oh, that's cute. They're quirks. Oh, so cute. Also, the lady in West Ham was so nice. Her name was Anastasia. And at first I was like, because I walked in there, and this guy, he said very like annoying. It was like, can I help you? And I hate me walking to places and they instantly make you feel like you don't belong. And I was like, I'm just looking, thanks. And then I uh, looked around for a while, found these, and then Anastasia was like really nice. All right, so I'm making my hazelnut milk right now.
milk actually. Let me taste it. Hell. <laughs> I'm gonna wash this anyway. Usually I do it in a bowl, but I'm just gonna do it on here so you guys can actually see. First, you're going to put some olive oil on it. I'm just gonna do both sides because I like to just coat one side of the tofu and then I just mix it around at the bottom. That's why I usually do it in a bowl. Okay, so I start with some Creole seasoning. Then I do basil and parsley. Like it to be like very herby. And then this is the game changer. This is mommy seasoning. It's so flavorful. And then I feel like, sorry, <laughs> shit in the background. I do the smoked paprika. Then I do nutritional yeast and I rub it in and then I just take the bottom and rub it in and get it like all nice and coated both sides and then to get it crispy I add some cornstarch. And this is gonna give it just a little bit more of a crispy little vibe. But this, Follow Your, Follow Your Heart is probably like my favorite brand ever. Like I feel like I never have disliked any of their products. But this is my favorite vegan mayo. That I die for you, oh. I pray to the Lord. I rise to the Lord. Gonna greet the Lord. I pray to the Lord. For the mother Jambele. Everything being safe again, ma. Everything for your Jambele. Oh, Jambele. Not a friend of me, no Baby, you mean more to me, more to me You are not a friend of me, no Baby, you mean more to me, more to me Ooh. Promise, probably call you back, yeah Oh, yeah, yeah You looking like me, oh, yeah, oh, yeah You see me be like I'm not a naughty rider let me please you right tonight. Don't make plans tonight. If this wasn't so massive, then I would definitely put the chips on the sandwich. Mm. Alright, let's eat this. I don't want y'all to get too jealous. Some rice, 
Yeah, for sure. I'm a great catch, baby. Better act right. Get the digits, hit it that night. And I shine like a star, he a flashlight. Keep my energy and cash right. I be turtlenecked up, cause the ice on my collar got it freezing. It ain't even that season. You came with a lane. Alright, y'all. So we're back from dinner. And so <laughs> in the clips that you just saw, I had like two different meals. The first meal that I showed you guys with like all the broccoli and stuff like that. It was just good, but it was just a little too healthy for me. I was like, I need something else. I was expecting it to be a little different. So my sister ended up taking my meal and then she saved the one that she got for herself for tomorrow. And then I got the second dish that she saw, which was really good. It tastes so good. I've had it before, but I was trying to like try something new and it didn't even, didn't do it for me. So I was like, let me just stick to what I know and got the drunken noodles. It's so good. The beefless like meat that's in there tastes so so bomb but anyway so we're back here and we are about to just like chill watch a movie and all that good stuff so i wanted to end the vlog here and just say thank you so much for watching um don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye